Hi. Um, I'm here today to talk about the CTS facility in South Asheville. Behind me is Robinson Creek. The creek flows through Arden, about 30 miles south of here, before entering the property of my high school, Christ School. When we were little, my brother and I, always eager to get outside, would play around in the creek when we weren't hiking and running through the woods. My family and I have lived in the same house in Arden for 16 years. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. The surgeon said it was extremely rare. Only one in one million children the age of 10 and younger have thyroid cancer. And um, I'm not really a math person, but that's like a 0.0001% chance of me getting that cancer. And I was only one year above that threshold. And um, so at the time, my family and I knew little of this facility that was run by CTS Corporation from 1953 until 1986. And it sits right on Mills Gap Road, right close to us. We assumed that if something was wrong with it, that if chemicals were leaking from the site, that the right thing was being done to clean it up. We have an environmental protection agency for that, right? Well, at the time, we, we had no idea that trichloroethylene was leaking from the site. It's a chemical known to cause liver and kidney damage. We had no idea that the EPA was well aware of the site, but was not doing what they could to clean it up. And we had no idea that during the plant's operation, CTS Corporation dumped the chemical into the ground. So we discovered that the EPA had put this site high on their priority list, but after 2002, had consistently deprioritized the site. And um, the North Carolina Department of Environment and Natural Resources was relying on other contractors to determine their best method of action at the site. In 1991, it was a Halliburton contractor who came out to the site and recommended no further remedial action. <laughs> Dot Rice, who lives next to the facility, has thyroid cancer. Her husband has a brain tumor. Her father-in-law died of esophageal cancer. Her son has multiple immune system issues. Another resident watched eight family members die from cancer. One young woman would faint in the shower would, from, because of fumes from the chemical. In a one mile radius of the site, there are 49 cases of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So by the time I turned 15, I'd had a biopsy, major surgery, MRIs, CAT scans, and two years of radiation treatment to rid the cancer from my neck tissue, my lymph nodes, and my lungs. And um, today, there are many others in the community who are dealing with health issues. Two years ago, my brother was diagnosed with a benign bone tumor that had to be surgically removed. So here's Robinson Creek again. In 2007, Robinson Creek tested with 56,600 times the legal limit of trichloroethylene. But um, I, I have faith that we can work together as a community to get this site cleaned up. One day, people will make the right decisions. One day, facilities like CTS of Asheville will be cleaned up at the snap of a finger. One day, from their headquarters in Indiana, CTS Corporation will listen to the people who are dying because of its negligence of the environment, and they will take responsibility to clean up this mess. But we can't just wait for the right thing to happen. We have to act, and we have to act now. Because if you were to test the soil today, if you were to test the springs today, if you were to test the wells in the area today, you would find astronomical levels of trichloroethylene. So no matter what CTS Corporation does to hide the evidence of their contamination, residents are determined to get to the bottom of this well of lies and mire of disease and death that have been jeopardizing South Asheville for years. I'm not in this for myself because my personal problem has been resolved. I'm in this for my friends, for my family, for my neighbors, and for the community. Because if we work together,
And I would love for you to join me. I, I would love for you to call the two most powerful people you know to let them know about the site. Write letters to the EPA demanding that they enforce their cleanup of the site. Because if we work together, Asheville, we can get this site cleaned up. We can and we will. Thank you.